Hello there, my name is Anthony Stokes and I am the IT Digital Media Specialist here at Palo Alto College. In this video, we're gonna be going over the recording tools in Panopto. Let's get to it. So for the recording tools, we're really only going to be focusing on one button and it's right here, the create button. So, under the create button, it does give you a couple different options. First and foremost, it's going to be giving you Panopto for Windows. Now, Panopto for Windows allows you to record within the Panopto application that you would have to download. For this, for all intents and purposes, we won't be using that at Alamo Colleges, but if you would like to use it in a different way, by all means, go right ahead. For our purposes, we're going to be uh, going over Panopto Capture, which is recording in the browser. Upload media is just if you have any current videos currently made, whether it's already on YouTube or if it's a video that was made with another platform or any other videos that you would like to upload into your Panopto folder, this is how you would upload it. Playlist is for the flow of videos, so if you want your students or anybody to be watching these videos in a particular order, by all means, this is how you would do it. And lastly is new folder. This allows you to create the new subfolders within it, whether it's going to be week one, week two, module one, module two, or something like that. But you could also do that from the home page, which is going to be this add folder function right here. So once you hit Panopto Capture, it's going to open up a new tab for you. And from here, I'm just going to be directing this camera right here, just to make things a little bit more simply. Panopto Capture allows you to do a lot of different settings. First and foremost is the audio settings. The audio settings is essentially going to choose whatever microphone you would like to share with. In this case, the only microphone we have set up for this is just the one on the laptop. But in case you have any external microphones, whether it's a USB one or if you have an, a, an a, uh, interface for your microphones or anything like that, by all means, you can choose that right here. Next up is your video option. Now, the only video option available on this is the webcam, but in case you also have different video options, whether it's like a secondary webcam or even the camera right here, you can easily link that up. And if you can have multiple cameras linked up right here for you. Quick little side note, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this little line down here is actually measuring the meter of your audio right up here. So this is a good way of indicating that it's actually hearing something and knowing that your audio is being recorded. Next up is your screens and apps. So if you want to share a specific screen, this is how you would do it. We're gonna go ahead and share the Panopto Course video screen. And if I wanna go back to the Panopto video, this is what it would look like as you're sharing it. So this allows you to be able to share your screen or share an application or anything like that. And you can easily just go right through it as though you're going to be giving like a normal lecture. It also gives you the view of what you may be familiar with with Zoom. From here, if you go down to the settings in the bottom right corner, it gives you a couple different options. You can record in standard definition, high definition, ultra HD, or it even gives you a five second countdown. What that does, it just gives you a beat to kind of collect your thoughts and then be ready to present, but it only starts once you hit record, it gives you this countdown, but if you wanna stop it, you just hit escape on your keyboard and it stops the recording from even happening. Next up, you have stream output. So stream output, if you remember in the previous video before this, there's two different types of stream output. One of them is going to be um, your normal video view. Your video view is exactly what you're seeing right here. This is going to be put all in one video to where anything that I do, my box that I'm in currently is going to stay in this bottom right corner and everything else will stay up in that top right corner right there. However, if you uh, capture your stream separately, what this is going to do is it's going to set up two different streams one is going to be the full screen that you're going to be sharing and the other one is going to be a full camera view of yourself or whatever is going to be the subject. This allows for two different video feeds so that anybody can change their focus from the complete screen so there's nothing in the way. And if you would like to elaborate more on camera, it gives you that camera view or the lecture view or the lecturer view, I should say, 
uh, for you to be able to have that feature right there. Next up is the video layout. So video layout is, there's two different ones. One of them is picture in a picture, which you're seeing right now. It's just basically the box in the bottom right hand corner. However, if you go into tile, it gives you exact same definitions for each screen that you're going to be using or each input that you're using. So if you have a camera and you also have the shared screen, you have those both right here and it gives them both the same amount of importance. So if I'm talking about anything, then say if something's happening over here on the screen, it allows it for right here. And these videos are side by side, so nothing's in the way. So I went ahead and stopped sharing my screen so we can easily show you what these next two features are. One of them is a background feature. Now the background feature just allows you to blur your background or if you would like to use a photo that you would like to add, in this case I'm just gonna use the default. If you wanna blur your background or hide whatever is in your background for privacy, this is here for you. Last but not least is the smart camera. It's very hard to explain what the smart camera is without showing it but I'm just gonna show it. So with it off, the camera is just stationary. It's perfectly fine. This is just going to be normal, what we're all used to. However, if you go into one person view, you'll notice that the camera is starting to move a little bit. What the camera is doing is it is following action, motion, and anything or focus really. So let's say if I move over here really quickly, the camera is going to follow me over into this corner. And let's say if I bring something over here, it's gonna follow me over this way now. So it allows you to, the camera to kind of focus into different areas. And even if you have multiple colleagues, there is an option for a group. So say if I have my multiple colleagues and we're in front of a whiteboard, if I have a colleague here and they're speaking, the focus is going to be moving over here. So right now the hand's moving, so it's kind of drifting that way. But now the hand's gone and it's going back to me. But now we have another colleague over here and it's focusing and it's moving the focus right over to me or to us, I should say. So yeah, this is another cool feature. And then right back to the normal off switch. Now the smart camera's off and we're back to the stationary look. Pretty cool. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and start recording. Gonna take a little beat and let's go ahead and record. Hello, this is a test. Once you stop the recording, it's gonna give you this little pop-up right here. It's letting you know right up here in this top left corner that the upload is complete. It's safe to close your browser. It's getting everything ready for editing. While it's doing and uploading your video, which now currently it is ready for us, it allows you to also change your titles and everything like that. So we're gonna do a test video right here. If you have a description, watch this please. And it even allows you to change the folder output, meaning that you don't necessarily have to keep it in the folder that you recorded in. You can easily just move it to whatever folder you would like. You can edit it, view it, and share your diff or change your sharing permissions right over here. But in this case, we're not gonna be doing anything within that. Once you are done recording, a lot of people usually get stuck because they think you have to send or anything like that. You don't have to do that. The only thing you really have to do is just close your browser. So now here we are back on the Canvas version of Panopto. We'll go ahead and refresh the screen and it said it was done. So there it is. The video that we just recorded is done and it does have the new title and the new description. And that is essentially it. That just about covers everything. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you everyone.